All righty, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for part two of the rant on negative wrestling fans. They're talking about that wrestling bubble there. Some people are accusing me of attacking the smart busters. I'm trying to start a war with the smart busters. I am talking about the negative wrestling bubble goofballs who come and attack me on my channel when I voice my opinion. They attack other people, shit like this. The smart busters have their opinions and I have mine. They don't come and rant or bash me if I have a different opinion and vice versa. I don't do that to them as well. So, not talking about them. Talking about the negative wrestling bubble. Same bubble that I was a part of for many years on here. And uh, yeah, that's who I'm talking about. So I did a part one, part two, right here. A couple of extra points that I forgot to mention about these guys there. They claim that they're the real WWE fans. They're the real fans. And if somebody has a different opinion, if people actually enjoy the shows, shit like this, those people are smarks. They're bad people or something like this. And they're the real fans, pretty much. Well... Usually real fans are people who actually like the product. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The supposed smarks and nerds and bad people who enjoy the show, they're the fans because they actually enjoy it. You guys just hate the company. You hate people. <laughs> Who enjoyed the show so how the fuck can you be the real fans it makes no sense you're not gonna hear a rock star on stage there I'd like to dedicate this song to everybody who hates my fucking guts to all the people who ain't satisfied with anything I do I love you guys I'm gonna dedicate this to y'all you know it doesn't work like this usually fans are people that love Whatever it is that they love there, it's, you know, real fans aren't people that fucking hate on everything. I mean, come on. They think that WWE should cater to them and them only. Fuck the people from other demographics. The kids don't matter. Women don't matter. The smarts don't matter. It's all about me. And what I want, well, why the fuck should WWE cater to y'all when you guys bash every single thing that they do? Every show is never good enough. Even if they went back to the Attitude Era, you still wouldn't be happy. You'd bash everything they do. Why should they cater to you? You don't order the network you don't watch Raw, you'll download it on the internet just to not give them a rating. <laughs> Why the fuck should they cater to you when you hate everything? I think it makes more sense to cater to normal fans who actually buy merch, they enjoy the show, they order the network. Obviously it makes more sense business-wise to cater to these fans. And you guys don't even know what you want. What does it mean to cater to you guys? To do shows that you're never satisfied with? Well, how are they supposed to cater to you guys? It makes no sense. Just to bring John Cena out and have everybody from the Attitude Era hitting him with a shovel until he dies in the ring. Is that catering to what you want? I mean, really. Even if they bring back the Attitude Era, fuck Roman Reigns, I want Kane, <laughs> I want old Kane with old mask, that what I want, you know, you guys would never be happy anyway, so why should they cater to you when they have real fans who fucking give them money, shit like this, 
They should cater to guys who hate everything, who don't even know what the fuck they want. How the fuck should they cater to you? And a lot of these goofballs, they think that the video makers have to cater to them as well. That's what a lot of them will say to me, you're only good if you bash wrestling. So if I make a regular vid, it's not good enough. If I enjoy a show, it's not good enough. If I do a vid that's not about wrestling, that's a bad thing. That's evil. I'm going to dislike your video. Because in their head, it's all me, me, me. They're like weirdo fucking... You know, guys with giant egos, they think the world revolves around them entitled little fucking retards who think people need to get on their hands and knees and cater to them all the time. But uh, the world doesn't revolve around you and your weird negativity fetish, you know what I'm saying? Even on the Smart Busters fucking vids, I've been seeing this recently. Because they haven't been doing raw reviews, bunch of their subs are hating on them. They've been hating on them recently because they've been doing hangouts. So even though the smart busters have been giving them what they want week in and week out, big 45 minute rants, bashing everything from A to Z, you know, year and year after year, as soon as they do a little something they don't like, fuck you guys, you guys are lazy, fuck you. That's what happens when you cater to this weirdo bubble. They're a bunch of fucking mongoloids and they turn on you at the drop of a hat. They'll turn on you because of a little thing like this, a little opinion like this there, so fuck these guys. The WWE doesn't have to cater to these goofs, and neither do I, for fuck's sakes. Fuck these idiots. These guys now, this is a new phenomenon. They want WWE to die. Me, I want it to get better. I don't want it to die. I've been a fan for like 30 years. But these guys want it to die. So if you make a video and you praise something, you enjoy something, they freak out there. Fuck you, man. Stop watching this shit. It needs to die. It needs to fucking die. You know, instead of trying to pressure people into not watching so that it can die and shit like this, how about you just walk away and fuck off there? Find a new hobby, find a new interest of some sort, and just leave people alone. If it dies, it'll die naturally, not because you want it to die. These guys, their ego is so big, they think the world revolves around them. So if they want it to die, then you're a fucking piece of shit for watching it. You're a piece of shit for ordering a show. And you need to stop it because I wanted to die. Drink bleach, you faggot. <laughs> you know what I mean? These guys are mental. There's lots of hypocrisy when it comes to the PG rating. First of all, it's been PG for like almost 10 years. You should be used to it by now. You understand if you still can't take it. Why the fuck are you still watching? Why the fuck are you still here? If you hate PG that much there. And also, there's lots of good shows who are PG. Who gives a fuck if it's PG? It could still be a good show. Even if it's PG, this whole thing. I'm a cool guy who only liked TV 14. I'm so edgy and cool because I like TV 14. That shit is just retarded and lame and cheesy and goofy. Get the fuck out, you idiots. I mean, come on. And there's lots of these guys. Noticed a lot of wrestling fans who are fans of anime and shit like this. They watch Dragon Ball Z, Pokemon, and stuff like this. 
shows that are geared for fucking four-year-olds and then they turn around and they act like they're tough guys when it comes to PG. I'm too cool for PG. I'm a tough guy. Then they turn around and jack off to Pikachu and shit like this. You guys are a bunch of fucking hypocrites. I mean, come on. Not everybody watches anime, but a lot of them do there. They're into these little kitty fucking cartoons. Then they turn around. I only want blood and hardcore. I love you, Pikachu. I want to suck Vegeta's penis. Oh, I'm so cool. Pew, pew, pew. <laughs> this is so cool. <laughs> Give me a fucking break there. Then this thing with the smarks there, this has taken on the life of its own there. Everybody's calling everybody a smark. Okay, first of all, this smark thing is being taken out of context. Smarks is a term that was created by the wrestlers. And it, it, it's meant to be about wrestling fans who think they're smarter about wrestling than the actual wrestling companies. They think they know everything about wrestling. That's a smark. Okay, when I first got on YouTube and the IWC was born and shit like this, you had a lot of these smarks. Pretty much pseudo-intellects who tried really hard to sound intelligent when they talked about wrestling but really they'd be saying a bunch of nonsense this is how I would have booked the show and they'll write a paragraph this big there about how Bob Holly should have main evented mania shit like this there those are the smarts that's what smart is Fake intellects who think they know everything about wrestling. That's what it is. But nowadays, if if somebody loves a show, they're labeled as a smart. And loving the show is actually the opposite of being a smart. If somebody likes indie wrestling, they're smarts. You have some smarts who watch the indies, but simply watching indie wrestling doesn't make you a smart, you understand? And basically everybody who disagrees with this negative bubble is labeled as a smart, that, that's what it is. Somebody disagrees with me, I'm gonna label him a smart in the sad attempt to discredit him so I can look like I'm in the right. That's what this is. And when Jinder Mahal won the belt, you had guys, oh, the Smarks are happy that gender won. And then the other half, oh, the Smarks are pissed off that gender won. So everybody's accusing everybody of being a Smark. Nobody knows who is and who isn't a Smark. And, and at the same time, they're all acting like Smarks themselves, so... This whole smart thing is a joke. Just because somebody disagrees with you, that doesn't make them a smart. You guys don't even know what a smart is, for God's sakes. A lot of these guys, they think that their negative opinion overrides the positive opinion. So if you make a video, I enjoyed this. This segment was great. This female wrestler is hot. This guy is a good wrestler. They're going to show up. No, you're wrong. It sucks. Like if they think that the negative opinion is stronger than the positive one. They think that the negative opinion always triumphs, boy, against positivity. And it's not like this. Your opinion isn't stronger than a positive opinion. You guys are just weirdos. I mean, really. Your opinion isn't stronger than a negative opinion. Sorry, WJ, but it suck. Just because a retard with a skeleton pick tells me that the show sucks, that doesn't mean I have to bow down to these goofs. Okay, you're right. I'm sorry, Austin Killer 79. You're you're right, man. 
Let me redo my vid. Sorry, guys. Show sucks. I mean, it's not like this there. Um, they're going to say weird accusations to you if you enjoy a show. Simply enjoying a show means that you're a fag. You're a retard. You know, you're a heel. You're trolling. That's what they think. If you praise a show, you become a heel or a bad guy. These guys are going around day in and day out harassing people, bullying people who like wrestlers, bullying people with a negative opinion. And they have the nerve to accuse you of being a heel. <laughs> Because you like a show, what a joke, what a fucking joke. The WWE should go back to TV 14. Like I said recently a, a few times, they lost the bulk of their viewers while the show was TV 14. From the year 2000 to 2007 or whenever it changed, during that time, they lost half of their viewers. So obviously the TV 14 thing wasn't working. Now they're PG and they're making more money than they've ever had. So obviously it's working. Why the fuck should they go back to TV 14? Makes no sense. Look at TNA, they're TV 14. They have hardcore matches on every show. How come the ratings are going down the frickin' toilet? <laughs> I mean, really, shouldn't business be booming? Shouldn't they be getting 10s and 15 ratings just because it's TV 14? Give me a fucking break there. I had a guy recently, he says they need to repackage and present an ECW format. Oh, uh, yeah. If the ECW format is the way to go, why did ECW die then if it was so great? How come it's dead? Back when <laughs> wrestling fans wanted everything to be hardcore, you had a bunch of crash TV shows on television. That was the cool thing back then, but it still died, so... WWE should model themselves after a fed that died. In an era where that kind of shit isn't really acceptable anymore, how dumb are these people? You understand? How come CZW isn't thriving if that's what people want? Blood and guts and shit like this, you know? Straight up there, if you take out this weird attitude era, phony mentality out of your head, you can actually enjoy the shows a lot better there. It's not about lowering your standard. It's about getting the weird internet attitude era lie bullshit standard out of your head. Once you get that out of it, once you get the heavy rage before the show even starts there, once you take that out, out of your head, you can watch it and be more normal. Uh, that wasn't too bad, you know, it doesn't have to be fucking attitude era. Once you get that out of your head, you can enjoy the show a lot better, you know, straight up there. So yeah, that's my final video about these weirdos there. I'm going to be moving on and talking wrestling on this channel there. Until next time, peace.